Hi friends, this is Nels Carlson again from Kansas City, Missouri, the mental health tip of the day. Alright, this is just for guys. That's right ladies, just for guys. So, pornography getting you down? Are you addicted to the images that are burned into your mind? You know, we live in a dark and perverse culture today where sensuality, lust, and sexuality are out of control. And you know what, guys? It's deception to think that that's going to be fulfilling for you to look through images of women. People think that that'll make them happy, that it'll relieve their stress, or that it's something to laugh about. I want to tell you, sin isn't something to laugh about. It's serious. You're hurting yourself, and you're hurting others. But thankfully, there's hope. Let me tell you a few things you can do today to help beat your addiction to pornography. The first is this. Stop and pray. Tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, I need your help. I'm in sin. I need you to forgive me. I need for you to help me to stop looking at pornography. The Bible says if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You need cleansing today. You don't need somebody else to tell you that it's okay or that all your friends do it. You need God to clean the dirt away from your heart. You need Him to open up your eyes so you can live. The second thing you need to do today is you need to go and you need to talk to your pastor or to a trusted friend and tell them what you're struggling with. Talk to them. Tell them, I'm struggling with pornography and I need help. Humble yourself. The Bible says that God opposes the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. You need grace today. You need a new start. You need to make 2012 a new year for you. You know, the last thing you need to do is decide, how am I going to get this temptation out of my life? The Bible says there's no temptation that's overcome you that's not common to man. But God's faithful. He won't allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. You may say, you don't understand. I can't stop. I, I can't bear it. It's, it's too tempting. No, friend. God says there's nothing that comes your way that you will not be able to bear with God's help. So, what you need to do is remove the temptation. Are you sinning by viewing pornography online? If you have to, get rid of that computer. Or don't have internet connection. Or maybe it's the company you're keeping. Maybe you need to have a new set of friends. You need to remove the obstacle that's in your way. I appreciate you listening to me today. And I'm really hopeful about your future, guys. Because we need each other. We need to be accountable. And we need to know that there's hope. That God has designed us for a reason. And it's not to waste our lives in sin. But to glorify Him. Isn't that worth it? Isn't Jesus Christ's death on the cross and His shedding of His blood for your sins a good enough reason to clean up your heart today? If God was willing to send His Son to die for you, aren't you willing to give your life to Him? He'll give you a happy life, and He'll change your pornography addiction, if you'll ask Him. This is Nelson Carlson with a mental health tip of the day. Have a great day. Hold on, guys, and keep a pure heart.